It's time for women's lacrosse. Our analyst played varsity lacrosse at Wild Lake High School. While there, she was one of their top scorers and an elite 300 camp alum. It's a pleasure to welcome Mary Lee Adams. Thanks, Mike. Coach Carey's Dragons are one win away from history. A win against Nassau secures the program's first trip to nationals and keeps alive hope for their first Region 20 District BD title. Howard is coming off of a heartbreaking loss to Hartford that cost them the outright Maryland Juco regular season championship and the number one seed in the tournament, setting up a tough semifinal test against Nassau. Mary Lee, what do you expect to see from Howard? Well, coming into this game, they're very evenly matched. They both have some go-to players that they'll need to keep an eye on. Howard has Erica Heafy. She's going to be the one on offense to really make things happen and drive Howard offensively. Howard is also going to be counting on Charlotte Wilkinson to really control the draws and get things started for the offense. Howard's defense is going to have a tough time controlling Nassau's speed. They're very quick, and they don't give defenders much time to create strategies. Howard needs to play smart and set things up behind the goal, really find a way to work the ball around the crease and find the open lanes. They had the skills and the experience to come out of this on top, but Nassau isn't going down without a fight, that's for sure. The Lions enter the tournament on a two-game losing skid. Nassau's 4-5 and five overall. Their last game was a 10-goal loss to Howard. This season, Nassau gave Hartford a close game. Nassau beat Suffolk by a small margin early in the season, and you could argue Nassau played a tougher schedule. Mary Lee, describe the Lions game. Well, Nassau is a very aggressive team. They use their speed offensively to tire out defenses, and their big scorer is Carrie Baum. She's going to be the one setting up the plays or just driving it straight to goal. She's very quick and can outrun defenders, so Howard really needs to play tight to her and make sure that they are double covering her when she's near the goal. Nassau is also very scrappy, and they can be a little dirty and will not be holding back. So Howard is going to have to use their stick skills and play calling to outsmart Nassau. I think ultimately it's going to come down to who wants it more and who can finish. There's a national spot on the line, so both teams are going to be giving it all they have. This is it for one of them. Howard takes on Nassau in a winner-go-home showdown. Let's go to the highlights. First half, Juliana Rosati takes it in. And Nassau's on the board. Howard's defense needs to anticipate Nassau going straight to goal. Nassau can't get shots off like that right out the gate. Rebecca Coglin takes it up for Howard. To Charlotte Wilkinson. Howard's passing looks sloppy. They need to tighten up their passing game, protect the stick, and keep the cradles in tight. Wilkinson, ahead to Katja Ramzazo. Erica Heafy now. Vincenza De Crescenzo lands a cross check, and Heafy goes down. Ensuing free position, and Heafy ties the game. Nice finish by Heafy on the penalty shot. Randazzo looking to clear it for Howard. Kerry Baum stays with her. Nassau's physicality is starting to stand out. Nassau is not afraid to draw a card. They're playing tight defense, taking checks to the face, and it seems like they're trying to intimidate and wear out Howard's offense. Later in the possession, Wilkinson looking for Heafy. Howard's cut-ins need to be faster. Nassau's defense is able to anticipate them and stop the play from moving forward. The possession continues for Howard. Wilkinson dissecting the Lions' defense. Nice assist by Wilkinson. She waited for Irvin to find the open lane. Great finish by Sam Irvin. She took her time and was able to beat the Nassau defender. After the goal, it's Wilkinson versus Baum on the draw. Nice draw win by Baum. She's dominating the Nassau offense. Her speed is really a threat to Howard. They need to start double teaming her and not letting her go straight to goal. Coglin takes it up for the Dragons. Checked by Baum, but she retains possession. Howard needs to keep their sticks tighter. Nassau is going to check them every chance they get. Nice roll by Coglin. She draws the card. Coglin, Rondazzo. Olivia Murray digs her elbow into Rondazzo's neck. Another Nassau foul. Coglin, guarded by Kathleen Dulligan. Heafy makes a move and calls for the ball. She's been face guarded most of the game, but still makes her presence felt. Great assist by Coglin. She found Heafy, and even with four players on her, she found a way to maneuver the stick and get the goal. Ensuing draw. Coglin is taken out and comes down hard on the turf. That's the third card for Nassau. They're playing dirty, and Howard's taking the brunt of it. De Crescenzo, Risotti to Carly Ortman, and she scores. Great passing by Nassau, working down the field and moving the ball on the offense. Howard possession. The pass back to Heapy is high, and it rolls right to Baum. Here she comes again, attacking the unsettled situation. Baum has another breakaway. Howard thinks she's going to go straight to goal, but they didn't have anyone on Catherine Rahill. She was totally open. Nassau regains the lead. 
Lions force a turnover, they're back on offense. Ortman operates from behind, draws the slide, keeps it, and Ortman finishes high. NASA on a three goal run. Heafy serving a two minute penalty. Rossotti buries the free position shot. NASA has scored four unanswered. Coglin won the draw for Howard, and she cuts the lead to two. Nice bounce shot by Coglin. Howard is definitely making their penalty shots count. Dragons looking to clear. Heafy ahead to Nicole Cote. Dulligan lands a hip check on Cote, she's down. Nassau has 27 fouls in the first half. 121 remaining in the half, more physicality. Olivia Murray goes for the ball and headbutts Cote. Rough head on head collision. Howard's really taking some hits. Later in the possession, Coglin leads the way for the Dragons. She absorbs the contact, beats her defender, and Coglin brings Howard back within one. Way to take it in. Coglin did some great stick work there, switching her hands and using her body to roll around the defenders. Second half, Carrie Baum sprints into the open field. Nassau is coming out of the gate strong in the second half. Their fast breaks are starting to wear out Howard. Lions extend their lead to two. Coglin marches up the field. Nice check by Tazia Daly, knocks it free. Nassau's beating Howard to the ground balls. The Lions go right back to Baum. She burns her defender, draws the slide. Ellie Garvey with a point blank save. She secures the rebound. Charlotte Wilkinson ahead to Coglin. Heafy gets behind her girl and puts it away. Great job moving the ball down the field. Started by Wilkinson, dodging her defender, finding the open player, and getting it to Heafy for the finish. Howard won the draw. They're back on offense. Wilkinson. Heafy. Daly forces her to rush, and it's on the turf. Heafy swoops in and wins the ground ball. Nassau called for another foul. Ensuing free position, Heafy changes planes and ties the game. She's been face guarded most of the game and has somehow been able to get open and lead the way with four goals. Nassau won the draw. Here's Baum. Quick change of direction, gets to the middle, and Nassau regains the lead. Howard won the draw, then turned it over. Baum leads the break. Nassau's offense is really pressing Howard's defense. Garvey is taking a lot of hits, and she makes a great stop there when it's really needed. Cote comes up with the ground ball and starts to clear. Cote, Rachel Hunter. Howard needs to move their passing forward and not get stagnant in the midfield. That's causing turnovers. 19 minutes remaining, Nassau's back on offense. Rusotti beats her defender, Garvey with the stop. Rendazzo secures possession for Howard, steps back. Brittany Trigelli hits her in the head. Red card is the official's decision, and Trigelli is ejected. Big blow to the head taken by Rendazzo. Red card thrown. You rarely see that. Howard will be a man up for two minutes. It's a non-releasable penalty, and Trigelli will be out for the game. If Nassau wins, she'll have to miss the championship game also. Howard is a man up. Wilkinson makes him pay. Howard ties the game. Howard won the man up draw, still 42 seconds remaining on the non-releasable penalty. Great play set up by Hunter. Randazzo faked her defender, looked like she was going to pass, but popped it up with the bounce right away. Six seconds remaining on the penalty. Coglin wins her matchup and earns the free position shot. Coglin three-step release, scores. Great shot. Strong goal by Coglin. That was a textbook penalty shot. Yeah. Ten minutes remaining. After a Howard turnover, here comes Nassau in transition. De Crescenzo gives it to Baum, wide open. Baum takes it to the X, keeps it, and delivers a timely tally. Howard is being outrun by Baum. She works it around to the other side of the net and beats out four defenders. Coglin gets underneath, makes it to the crease, denied by Karen Downs. Nassau sends it in the direction of Baum. And here we go again. Baum flies through three dragons. Hustles past midfield. Nassau has numbers, five on four. Baum goes to Ortman. And she does some damage with the overhand shot tie game. 6.30 remaining, Baum attacks the unsettled situation. What a shot, perfectly placed inside the far post, and Baum regains the lead for Nassau. Howard's defense is not playing man-on-man -man defense. They need to be double teaming and sliding. It's giving Nassau the advantage. Michelle Sparling 
to Erica Heafy. Heafy charges into the middle, goes right, uses the overhand release and ties the game. Clutch goal by Heafy to tie it up. She's giving it all she has. 325 to play, NASA won the draw. Free position for Baum, broken up by Coglin and Garvey does the rest. 115 remaining, Howard's a man down. Wilkinson with the ball and her stick. Nassau double teams her. Dulligan drops her and wins it back for Nassau. 18 seconds. Nicole Moniello up against Cote. Feeds to Baum. An official calls a foul on Howard. Baum will get a free position with 12 seconds left in the game. Season on the line for both teams. Baum with a bouncer. Nassau wins. Baum draws the foul and finishes the free shot in the back of the net to win the game. Tough to see such a heated game be decided by a penalty shot. The Lions put an end to Howard's season. Nassau advances to the Region 20 District BD final and moves on to Nationals. 13-12 is your final. My first guest posted a winning regular season record in each of her four seasons at Howard, a program first for HEC Women's Lacrosse. She's also a licensed official for high school and club lacrosse in Howard and Carroll counties. It's a pleasure to welcome head coach Diana Carey. Welcome, coach. Thanks, Diane. Let's talk about the Nassau game in the Region 20 first round. How did you think your team played? It was a really tough game. Um, you know, I don't know what it was, but the girls were not all there, um, which is unfortunate because you can't come into playoffs um, unless you're mentally, you know, ready to go and physically ready to go. Um, we've, you know, had a lot of injuries all year long, which has been tough, but... Uh, Nassau was definitely ready to play this game, and I just didn't feel like we were. 